Today, I'm going to show you how a satellite circularizes its orbit. To start, I'm going to assume you already know how to put a satellite into a simple orbit. But if you don't, check out my guide on getting to orbit for the first time. Now we're in orbit, we notice that it isn't a perfect circle. Or in other words, our apoapsis and periapsis aren't equal. To increase the height of our periapsis, we want to burn towards the prograde marker on our nav ball when we reach the apoapsis. I'm going to burn until my periapsis reaches roughly 100 kilometers here. Now, we can time warp down to the periapsis. When we arrive, we need to point our spacecraft retrograde and burn our engines until our apoapsis is also roughly 100 kilometers. When we're in the map view, we want to burn until the markers are halfway to switching places. Now for some precision maneuvers. We can utilize radial burns to increase our apoapsis and decrease our periapsis at the same time. If you want to learn more about how radial burns work, check out my video on the topic. But just like that, we're in a circular 100-kilometer orbit. 